today's episode, we're going to be talking about advice. Give our best advice. You would have thought that we were like Gigi Hadid. Like, have thoughts. the gals not made their statement? No, the hot take. I don't like. Really? Yeah. Showing. <laughs> oh my god. Tea. That's like what it, it's like. It's What's up? Welcome back to Gals in the Go podcast. I'm Danielle. I'm Brooke. We're so happy to be back with you guys today. Hope you're all having a fabulous day on your morning commute, Mm -hmm. folding laundry in the evening. Let's just set the scene. (laughs) Whatever you're doing. Maybe it's like maybe it's like three years from now and people are listening and they're like, you know how some people do that? Like they go back in time, like listen to a podcast. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're from child. the future. Yeah. Stop! <laughs> Hello, sweetie. No I'm kidding. That's, oh my that's god! That's Do you think that our kids will listen to our podcast one day? I think, but like not every episode. It's just, it's just too much to go. I mean, that they would have to start like from birth. They There's too many hours have, of content. Imagine being able to watch your parent grow up. And like all of our YouTube content, they have so much to work with. They have a little too much. Yeah. Like, Mom, you said I can't do this, but you did it. <laughs> so true. They'll catch us in lies all the time. Yeah. No, I'm I'm a little nervous. Me um, too. <laughs> well, there's no way to segue that. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about advice and really on relationships, friendships. We had you guys send in speak pipes, voicemails, if you will, and we're excited to play them and give our best advice. Yes. Um, but before that, I feel like we have some housekeeping news, sweep, things sweep. to take care of because we're gearing up for our fall live shows, our tour. Yeah. I know we have freaking pushed this on you guys, but it's because we really are so proud of the way that these turn out and we want everyone to come and it to be a full house and yeah. us all to have a great time together. We're going to have a DJ there, you guys. Yeah. Like, it's going to be sick. You're so right. I, I keep forgetting to mention that. They're going to show. I was like, oh, I guess they'll show up and it's a party. But yeah, yeah it's a yeah. party. We have special edition merch that's going to be mm-hmm. sold there. Um, so we're going to be coming to Chicago when this episode comes out, like a week and a half from now, or maybe even a week from now. I can't even think, which is so crazy. Yeah. So the first show is on Thursday, November 2nd. That one's sold out. And then on Friday, November 3rd, we're going to be at Park West, and there are still mm-hmm. tickets available for that one. So excited. Mm-hmm. Some of our family is going to be there. Yes. Selling the merch. So go say hey. Uh, like we said, some spe- not special guests, but you know, DJ. Like it's a whole experience. It's, it's a, a whole dinner night. And a show. I mean, we don't give you dinner, but you can get dinner before. <laughs> yeah, you can. Maybe some of them self like when we did comedy clubs, they like people were like getting dinner You're there. Right. So maybe I don't know though. Winery. Yeah, they have food. That's our first uh-huh. night in Chicago. Um, I don't know about I Park bet. West. That's more of like a theater vibe. It's the same show regardless. Like it's yeah. not. It's so it's just seating. come. Yeah, some are tables, some are theater seats, whatever it may be. Get excited. So get excited, and then we're going to Texas, which yeah. you all sold that out so fast so true to say there mic drop and then new york city december 16th 8 p.m town hall we just went to the venue and saw it unbelievable guys like Chills. really it is it's a big room it felt like it literally is the size of a theater that like a broadway show would be at. yeah no it felt like we were going to see broadway going to see a concert like going like it felt like we were really we yeah. were it's like right by times square so you walk uh-huh. in it, it's so crazy and they had their gals in the ghost signs out front yeah. so if you happen to walk by the town hall theater take a picture take send a picture us. send us a selfie yes oh, you, ticket. you had a good point too about the new york one because we just we, we did some filming you'll see the what we filmed if you come to the live shows so yeah um but we did some filming so we checked out the theater etc and you're like oh there's parking next door there yes, yeah i'm so glad you remember that yeah there's like a really big like, i mean new york city like it's not like a parking lot it's like a garage but if you're driving in from like connecticut jersey whatever like you, you can or you could take it's not far from like train stations and stuff you could take yeah, the train it's convenient thought, to get to exactly no i just thought it was a cool point to make because I feel like, I mean, I know you drive around the city like a crazy person. I don't know how you do that. Not, you don't drive like a crazy person, but you drive and I think that's crazy. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're stressed about that, when I tell you the parking deck is literally right next to it. It's attached to it. Like I put it in on my app. Like I have the app. This is a good hack if you live in any city. I feel like I've talked about it. Spot Hero. Okay. You put in like where you're, where you want to go, like your destination and Mm -hmm. then like the time you want to like check your car in. Um, so I put in like, I think that was like one thirteen. what is it like 40, 41st or something. And it was like, literally we have parking at one thirteen. Like it was the yeah. same address. That's like, amazing. That's insane. Yeah. And this app is so good. It actually like automatically. So I'll put it in like, let's just say I need parking when I do park in the city, like from like one to 7 PM or something, mm-hmm. it will like be like, we extended your times for free. You could actually park from noon to nine for oh, the same price. Nice. Like it, it gives you good deals. Cut you, cut you a deal, deal on Spot Hero. <laughs> that was a free ad for them. I don't know why. I, I'm no, getting nothing from that. <laughs> because it could help out the gals. Yeah. So we really hope to see you guys there. 
let us know on Instagram if you're in, if you're going to be coming. We're so excited. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to get that out of the way. Oh, and thank you guys so much for supporting us. The Gals in the Go Matchbox collection came out and you guys are loving it. Yeah, which is great. So yeah. thank you. We love it too. I wore my sweatshirt to SoulCycle today. I saw yeah, on your story. Was cozy. That's very cool. Yeah. And you I, used your mug for coffee this morning. I used my You mug. love that mug, that XL. I love yeah, that I love XL it. big daddy mm-hmm. mug. It's just the best. And a lot of you guys bought the poster, which we were really excited about. Mm. I framed mine. I just bought a frame on Amazon. Um, or you could just hang it up in your dorm room, whatever the vibe is. But we're so happy with it. So you can go so see happy. photos of them on Instagram. Yeah. And all of this, also the live shows and the merch, it's uh, galsandthegopodcast.com. We have like tabs for it all. Easy homepage. Easy. For you. We love a Squarespace website. We um, do love Squarespace. Yeah. They're a proud partner. Yeah, of we do. Go. Um, so what else is up? Well, how was your weekend? I feel like you. What? You, well, you saw a movie. You saw a movie. My life was a movie. I actually had a really nice, wholesome weekend. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, two of my best friends, Delaney, college roommate, and my high school best friend, Caitlin. We like kind of all had a weekend together. It was so. Oh, fun. that's amazing. Like we did something together every single day. Went to Central Park at one point, but the big event was Sunday night, which you were supposed to come, but you ended up going home. Yeah, yeah. Was invited. Uh, Very sweet. We went to um, the Taylor Swift movie, which was so much fun. It was so cool too because when we walked into the theater, the girlies were there. Like, oh really? I mean, not like. I mean, actually, I did meet a listener, but oh, oh. so I meant just like the girls arrived. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? like, Katie said people weren't dancing though, like maybe in no. their seat or whatever. But I saw some videos of like other concert experiences, and it was like people were jumping up and down the aisles, like yeah, yes, like they were at the concert. Yes, yeah. I feel like that must have been the first night that it mm. opened, right? Because they were all talking like, oh, I really just don't like. I really just want to sit and enjoy it, and I was kind of like, I don't care. Like, yeah, if people stand. Then I wouldn't want to stand the whole three hours like uh-huh. a concert. Like I wasn't prepared for that, but I was prepared if like certain songs people wanted yes. to get up and dance. No one did. I think everyone in the room was kind of like, "All right, we're feeling out the situation." Were people like looking around? Like, yeah, what are we some doing? people were lightly singing, not like lightly. Okay. I saw lots. I mean, at points, I lifted my hands in the air. I mean, you just feel like you're at the concert. Yeah, you did such a great job. And you know, we had gone to the concert, which I was. We were so lucky to get to have gone to got. We know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. But um, we weren't sitting like that close. So to see her facial expressions uh-huh. and I really got to appreciate the costumes more. It was just so fun. The only thing is we had found out that they cut like five songs from the movie. Why? And we thought it was because they were going to show backstage footage, which would have been cool like to see her doing a quick costume change yeah. or like getting in that cleaning bin that they bring her on stage. And there wasn't any. There was no extra footage. So, so it was literally just the concert. It was literally, it was like, there was no talking. She wasn't like, Hey guys, I'm filming a movie. Like there was like, no, no. like breaking the third wall, like no. nothing. No, I know. No breaking that yeah. wall. Um, and they had like the countdown in the beginning, which was uh-huh. fun. I saw everybody like on their yeah. story. Person at the they scene. didn't make it non, like it was not generic. It was very much hello LA. Oh, LA show. interesting. But we noticed, at least we, we thought that maybe, and it would make sense. They filmed like on diff- a few different nights and put it together because her hair kept changing. Like, it would be gotcha. a little more straight, a little yeah, more yeah. It's impossible the, to control the humidity. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So um, that was funny. And at one point, Katie and Delaney noticed she had like chip nails in one really clip, but, like other clips. She didn't have chip nails. She's so real. She's so real. No, <laughs> apparently there was a whole TikTok about it. That's why they knew to look for the chip nails. Oh, wow. um, Easter yeah. egg for something coming. Katie probably has like a whole formula. <laughs> oh, literally, she's like mm, chipped nail polish on her thumb on her right hand. Yeah, it was it was just so fun though. Like I have no. It seemed like a good time. The only thing was I had saw also on tiktok that people got like these souvenir popcorn buckets and really cute taylor swift mm. merchy things the snack bar and i did not get that with my popcorn so maybe it was Wait, the first what theater thing. did you go to it was so it was on east 19th because like when the tickets came out i was like yeah. the theaters were going away fast so i was like ah you texted us you're like i secured tickets like the if you guys of. are here like i was like whoa oh my god i didn't god. even know if i was gonna, i was gonna maybe announce yeah. this past weekend so it was it worked out. You would have been able to get rid of those tickets, though. I like, I feel so, like there was yeah. demand for the tail. Right? Was it full theater? I'm full assuming. Full theater. It was so fun. It was just like the best energy. Yeah, that's great. But you also, you went to a real concert. <laughs> I did go to a real concert. I don't know. I'm like still up in the air of how I feel about concert movies, but I do really want to see Beyonce's though, because we oh, didn't see her concert. Didn't see that. That would so be I feel like that's fun one. Mm-hmm. perfect. Yeah. You know? Um, but I did go to a real concert. I went to Fred again. Um, I was excited for this for months. I feel like I've been trying to see him. He. Mm-hmm. Every time it was like, I, I missed it. He was out of town. Like just, you know, I didn't know about game time. So I again, like, and again, yeah. and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, I did. Um, 
everyone's out and about now in new york city rock, rocking their fred again merch it's uh, the cutest thing left out. yeah because i didn't get any i was like <laughs> i thought about it too and i i have no objection to like buying merch at a concert like yeah. I, I generally like to yeah but i was big. standing i was on the floor standing the whole so i was like what am i gonna like get a bag of stuff and like no. hold it the whole time you and then like put it under your seat no there's no seat like I, standing. i'm standing yeah yeah but I had the, oh my God, it was the best spot because he like came through the crowd and played one. It was just, it was How does he insane. do that? Do you brought a little mobile thing? They had like a second setup, like, and we knew, That's we went the sick. second night. So some people from the first night had like told us, they were like, hey, he's going to like come out oh. into the whatever. So like, just get a spot that's like generally somewhere that you could see him we in both spots. We made a plan. We packed a snack. Like I go, <laughs> when I go to concerts like this, like I gear up, I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Bruce is going yeah, to a no, I know. But Big actually, channels activated. What, what did you wear? Oh, no, I, saw I had a. Really I actually have been doing this new style where I leave like the front pieces down and I like take this section and clip up like that section. So it's like Cute. a party pony kind of party deal. pony. Yeah, it's love. easy. Um, and I probably just wrecked my hair, but it's fine. It's struggling <laughs> it this great. time of year, anyways. Thank you. Um, great concert. 10 out of 10. I feel like now I, I'm on Fred again, TikTok. It's crazy how that happens. You know, you oh. go to the concert and you're just yeah, there. Yeah, but the best vibes. High. I know, but now I'm like, it, this happens literally every time I see someone in concert. Like now I'm even more obsessed. Like I, I really like the music, but now I'm like, this is my whole life now. That's so annoying though, because then you're like, well, I want to see them now mm -hmm. because you're so obsessed. That's how I feel about Taylor Swift. That's why I was like, I need to see the concert again. Yeah. And to again, really, and again. So, and again, Taylor Swift again and again. <laughs> Wait, cause should we talk about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey? I feel like we haven't formally said our Have thoughts. Have the gals not made their statement? No, the <laughs> <laughs> the gal's official state stamp. <laughs> yeah. I never found him attractive and now I do. So, really? Yeah. I I don't think I thought twice about him before. I think like, maybe yeah. more so that. Like I just yeah. didn't think I feel about like him. I maybe saw him but in I never Yeah. No, yeah, <laughs> I just saw him locally, whatever. <laughs> Local. Actually speaking of in passing, I did see a paparazzi you thing did. today though. This was crazy. I saw I was coming out of SoulCycle, NoHo, um, just doing my walk. That is like a little bit of a happening area, though. Yeah, there's clubs over there, like Bond yeah. Street, that totally. whole area. Totally. There's a, what's that membership club? Not, Zero Bond. Yeah, it's like right over there. But it was like middle of the day. It's like yeah. 11 a.m. And I see maybe six to seven men with like the poles, like the, and then like the cameras on them, like the, you know, like a tripod, but it's like a, not a tripod. Oh. It's like just oh, a stick. just to help them. Uh-huh. Like all cameras of different sizes and I saw them all they were all pointing in one direction and I was like oh are they shooting like an advertising campaign or something it really like set up you're saying yeah well they were just all in the same spot like it was just oh. six of them like they were clearly all from like different places but like they knew where to go you know what I'm saying? And they were all situated there. And so then I heard the shutters firing away and I'm like walking in front of them. I felt so rude. So I like backed up and like tried to go around because I thought they were like working. I mean, they were working, right. but like, but you know, different. yeah. Yeah. And then I see Gigi Hadid across the street and it clicked for me. I know that she like lives over there or something. So I was like, oh my God, that's like totally her. Um, wow. And I mean, she did look gorgeous. I have to say like she Stunning. was wearing sunglasses, but have you ever watched someone get paparazzi before? I don't think so. It is so terribly awkward <laughs> like i was watching this girl i mean granted the first like second she couldn't really cross the street i think that like it was like uh, you know cars were coming or whatever yeah. but when she did finally cross it was the slowest walk and so, so intentional she was, she trying to get away from them no 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 she wanted her shot i mean like and go i i would want them to take a good picture of me too yeah because i feel like if you go like quickly then they might like you know you get your hair in your face you get like she you know, right no she, must she knows the tricks mm -hmm. but i feel like she must have maybe she didn't tip them someone tipped them off though because they they knew where to go like you know what i'm saying yeah and the, and like since she lives over there i feel like <clears> you <throat> wouldn't really want to tip them off i wonder what that's all about but didn't you you told me that like i've so seen her many people over there before, too. oh yeah yeah well that but also so many people like call the paparazzi yeah. on themselves or right or yeah, someone on no. their team does or something Yeah, like your pr team like let's say maybe she was wearing like maybe she's doing a collab with coach right now and yeah. she's wearing coach sometimes they just want that's the shot gotcha so right. like for press i recently learned that which is very very interesting yeah it just felt so set up like i was like this is and it's so awkward too because like it's just quiet so you just hear the shutters going she's walking slowly and then uh. I, like it's almost like you want to just break the silence and just be like hey, hey like, you know <laughs> i i didn't even hear anyone shouting her name i think towards i, I did take a quick video because i was like i have to document this like i mean yeah. but everyone then then it becomes a scene though because then everybody on the street starts documenting it too but it is then i started getting like so weird about it because i was like this is like a, a human being but we're all just standing here as if it's like 
yeah. like with our phones out and the cameras like if, it was like a weird kind of like meta scene i felt like i was like that in like a crazy. dystopian movie or something yeah. you know it's like it's just a girl i don't know it was weird <laughs> i know now that you said i've seen videos like on dumois of paparazzi happening so i can picture that shutter sound it was and just quiet a k- and she's just walking so you well, saw her when she was on the other side of the street just waiting for the crosswalk waiting for the crosswalk and then i like that's when i else. Th- yeah she can't even make the crosswalk change no she has to wait <laughs> yeah and then i saw her cross and i thought i got so excited because i saw a man with her and automatically i jumped i was like oh, it's bradley cooper it's so cool yeah there's a dang a taylor swift's house like i knew it yeah. i was like that must be him oh i'm not God. even like the biggest hadid fan but i feel like they're just so recognizable well, it's just a celebrity sighting of course in general of course and paparazzi, like just the whole experience. I was I like, wow. So obs- that's it wasn't that's so badly cool. though. Let me be clear. It was just some guy, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Because I, I was wondering. I was like, did they not make their public debut? Maybe I'm, I'm capturing wit- this whole thing. <laughs> I'm witnessing because maybe they had called paparazzi. Yeah. I could turning like this is their debut. Like I well, thank gosh it was someone that I like recognized because yeah. I'm not like the best with every celebrity. She's pretty recognizable. Yeah. And you knew she like lived over there. Totally. Everyone kind of does. Yeah. But I think there's a lot of celebrities that like wear sunglasses whenever I'm like, that could be one of literally 20 people, you know? But yes, especially if they have like a hat and like a bun. Mm -hmm. If their hair is down, it's a little easier. She had like her blonde hair. She had her Yeah, she looked like a model. I mean, she is a model, but like she really looked like she's tall, you know? (laughs) Anyways, that's what I saw today. I just wanted to let you know a little behind the scenes of what paparazzi stuff. It's really awkward. I don't know. Did you stand there for a while? (laughs) I like to, took a video like as I was walking because I felt kind of weird. Just no, yeah. And then she was crossing like towards me, and then I was in the way of the paparazzi. Like I was really like on. Uh, I was, what is that catty corner? I mm-hmm. guess like yeah. I was walking that way, and she was yeah. Was I cool. can picture you like yellow panic. Like oh sorry. Uh, uh, like, yeah, after panic. I realized it, because I was like, what's the commotion about? And then what's I was the drama. I thought that they it was li- like they were all they were shooting from a bunch of different angles for like an ad or something. That's where my brain goes to because I feel like in New York people are always shooting like commercials. Etc. And did she just walk? I have so many questions. Did she just keep walking? Yeah, and then she like exited my eyesight. I think like to going towards her house. You know, because okay. I continued walking. So I was gonna say maybe it was a shoot, but if she left, then it, her outfit wasn't giving shoot. It was like a yeah. leather casual jacket. Like it she looked like it was streetwear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But she she did look fabulous. I mean, what a what a That's gal. So fun. That's a cool thing about living in New York City for sure. When we shot our thing on Monday, um, <laughs> we were filming like a promotional video, not promotional, like it's in the live show. It's like, whatever. Yeah. Um, you'll see it if you come to the show. You'll see it if you come to the show. It's really funny. <laughs> it's a really funny video. And we were doing like a proper shoot with like, you know, a cameraman, et cetera. Mike's you would have thought that we were like Gigi Hadid. Like you, literally, the amount of people on the street who stopped to stare oh at the God. entire like take of the scene. And we'd have to start over because mm-hmm. our videographer, Adam, would be like, okay, well, those people were just staring at you guys in the background. Yeah. Like, he was like, this is why, you know, in Sex and the City, they block off the streets and hire extras. So I was like, that makes sense. Because I've yeah. never been more annoyed in my life. Because everyone would take out their phone. Like, Sarah Jessica Parker. Hey. Like, oh, who are you guys? Or like, this one girl's like, what's your YouTube channel? I was like, oh, actually, we do have yeah. a YouTube. So we'll plug. Yeah. That was really oh, really funny. Fun. I guess anytime you film something, it does. I, I mean, I definitely think about it when I see people film it, like doing something. I'm like, oh, they're, they're doing something. I wonder what it is. Like, I don't. Oh, stop and ask usually i don't think no. i ever have imagine if i ask them, like what you guys do <laughs> nosy like, nelly i see like ggd crossing they're like shut up shut up shut up like, hey what, what is this who is that <laughs> they'd be like ma'am i like they probably wouldn't ma'am, be quiet, honestly. please they like need to get the yeah, shot. yeah yeah um oh and then this weekend i'm sorry i jumping all over Keep the place I, I didn't come to the concert movie because i did go home for the day i saw i went to i visited one of my friends from high school um who bought a house i went to their house like mm. i like literally just went over i was like this is so crazy like i'm just in your house you know yeah that is so crazy to see yeah and then i saw my parents and then i went to the dentist so like i was just like let me go home because we're, we're about to be on the on the road and stuff so i know yeah it's well you're about to go home actually I am. Yeah. About to go home. 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 Oh, yeah. When this episode goes up, I'm going back home or mm-hmm. back to New York. And it's actually crazy. I'm the day this episode comes out, you would have already, I already uploaded a YouTube video. So there's more about it there. But I'm going home mainly because my mom moved out of our house. Dun, dun, dun. And I'll leave it there. Um, so you guys should go watch my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, are you making a whole video about it? I made a whole video about it yesterday. It's going up on sun, this Sunday. So by the time this episode is up oh like a q a or like not oh. even i just had so much to say i was oh. like let's just i don't know because i feel like people have been along my life mm-hmm. and so i wanted to explain my childhood house means a lot to me 
So there's just a lot of change happening mm-hmm. going on at home. And honestly, it's all good stuff. It's all great stuff. But I was needed. I'm needed at home. Yeah. Yeah. To tend to. Everyone lives uh-huh. somewhere else. So I just need to go check in. No, that's great. But go watch my YouTube videos. So no, that you was, understand. you just left it on a cliffhanger. Like, I feel like I, I know what happens and I feel like I have to I go watch it. I want people to go watch the YouTube video. So it was great. Yeah. Great plug. Yeah. Um, and that's cool. the general catch up. You're going to a wedding this weekend. Maybe we could talk about that oh my next gosh, week or something. Yeah. yeah. Your first like friend. Well, I mean, you've gone to weddings, but like friend. This is group. my first friend wedding. It's crazy. It's like feeling very real. You know, we're all staying in an Airbnb together in Georgia and organizing, you know, our rides because mm-hmm. we're somewhere where there's no Ubers. So we're like asking family, friends, sons, daughters, kids to drive us. Oh, like, that's so funny. Yeah. It'll be fun. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to drink because I have oh, a drink. Oh, sober. Month. It's like sober September October, so I'm trying to decide. I mean, I probably will. I don't know. Is it is like it a it. is it a like an open bar and I stuff? Think like so. Yeah, it's a big wedding. Yeah, so they like to have fun. So we'll see. I don't really know. Um, updates to come. Do you have your dress picked out? I do. I'm actually. We're going to the rehearsal dinner, and okay, I didn't know this. Do you know you can't wear red to a wedding? I heard that it means that you slept with the groom. Tea. That's like what it, it's like you understate like you're supposed to like yeah it's, <laughs> but people definitely do I have seen red at weddings before but I think generally like in pictures it's like pops out so they try it to like makes sense I'm not wearing red to the wedding I'm wearing a um, black dress but to the rehearsal dinner I was showing this that red house of CB mm-hmm. dress that I bought with you and everyone's like oh my god you can't wear it I was like okay <laughs> so I'm wearing the orange dress that I wore to Sarah Bell's wedding oh perfect to the rehearsal dinner. Perfect. I don't know. It's like a burnt orange for fall. Is it a, like a, a I guess rehearsal dinners are always like night. I've never been to one. What, she what told they? us it's very, it's pretty casual. Okay. But this is what I'm wearing. That's yeah. what I'm wearing. So yeah. our whole friend group is kind of like, all right, well. Everyone's just, going to the rehearsal dinner. Yeah. Like our whole friend group is. That's yeah. so nice. We're on the bridal party. So I think she was like, oh, but I want you guys to be at the rehearsal. Uh huh. Because her bridal party is like three people. So. Oh, it's yeah, intimate. Yeah, it's small. It's going to be so much fun though. Really pumped. And then from there I'm flying home. Um, and then coming back because it's going to be Halloween weekend. Halloween weekend. And I'm pumped because Brooke's hosting a pregame. I am. If no balcony. <laughs> I know. A balcony There's nothing date. out there. Yeah, no, it's fine. But you have pavement now? I have pavement down, but like they were like, we got to get it inspected before we like whatever. But can I, you stand yeah. on the balcony? Yeah, you can. S- yeah, I mean, there was people well, working the out and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I guess before they put down like this, the like more of like the tile and oh, stuff, they just like yes, they yes, check yes, it yes. along each step. I sent an email trying to get a rent reduction and the guy basically told me to fuck myself. So that oh, was yeah. really I nice. Yeah. The messages and they were really funny. Yeah. It was really crazy. Like I was like, Oh my God. Yeah. Well, I thought it was funny how you were like, you Oh, know, I run my business there. But like, not, like, or like I film video. I, I know said, said, they know what I do for work. It, this yeah. is not like the people that I normally deal no, with in my building. Yeah. No, people. not my favorite go-to. It's like, you know, like the business person. Yeah, so, like, but I know who it is. Like I, I've seen him around before and like we've blocked. had, We've, yeah, honestly. No, we've had like fine interactions. Like, yeah, you're like, a very nice person to your building. I'm just like, what's up? You know? So I sent them an email and I was like, oh, I'm like requesting like a rent reduction given the fact that like I can't use my balcony and you know, like I pay exuberant rent because like I have this big balcony, except, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. And he was like, and then he was like, this ask is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> like, you know, whatever. And I was like, no worries. Just let me know what you're thinking. Um, like I do run my business out of here. So like when there's construction out there, like, and it's loud and like, you know, I can't work, like it's, it's, it's hard for me. And then he wrote back and he was like, (laughs) it was so funny. It was like, (laughs) given the terms of your lease, you're actually prohibited from running a business in the building, but we are willing to overlook it if you cooperate with us. So he literally pulled no, the yes, Uno like, reverse on I me. I know. <laughs> and like, they know it's not like you're running like some drug deal in there. You're literally or taking videos. L- that's what I'm saying. You're like taking customers. That's, as if they're coming up and I'm like, welcome to Brooks Boutique. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, what can I, can you, what can I do you for? <laughs> and and then so I was like, I, I really could, get so much more into this argument because like technically my business legal address like isn't even there like you know like I it's not whatever it was just a whole big thing it was just really funny and it brought me back and I got really fired up you know I'm excited (laughs) to go to your apartment next week see the balcony and I'm hopefully really it will be done by for then. whatever you do spooky wise like are you gonna make oh, a yeah. punch or something or not a punch yeah maybe like, i have uh treat. yeah yeah there will be some spooky I can treats bring a spooky treat. i love a spooky little pre-game, me too so I'm, I'm excited i like it. cute spooky not scary yeah. spooky my mom likes scary spooky she i hate does it like scary yeah she spooky. likes oh my gosh like, like, rah. yeah i know pop-ups those pop-ups scare me every time I, I wish i had time to go home for um 
Halloween because that actually I love going home for it cause, like oh seeing on the other end you know and like trick or treaters and stuff that's really distributing the candy oh, you know I'm so excited it for makes Halloween. Me love kids I can't wait to see do you do you have one costume or two just one I'm just doing one night of Halloween this year I that's like it your You're, yeah I'm done I think it's great what about you two right three oh three mm-hmm. Thursday Friday Sat wow yeah. yeah so yeah no I'm old I can only do one night I <laughs> I've only got one night in me yeah the Saturday is it's like friends so it'll be yeah. more it's like casual mm-hmm. well, I mean they're all friends but you know what I mean um, yeah I actually found three gray hairs this week never found any in my whole life this week I found three yeah that's so exciting is that exciting where are they you're wise you're wiser um I pulled them out which I know you're not supposed to do holy shit you just yeah 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 I no more so like that sounds painful oh yeah I mean I guess it wasn't like I feel like if you get close like you know and you do it like from right there I know I found one and I was like wow gray hair and then today I found two I was like oh my god like up front like where like uh, when I was you know styling or whatever so I had like half up or whatever sectioned (laughs) off (laughs) more so oh no but that's how that's what I'm saying so now that I'm old I can only do one night of Halloween Halloween weekend like it's not a weekend anymore I just I, I definitely like it but like I just don't like going out late honestly it really like messes up my next day I'm I'm old now you know no I more so like it it's like just for the if I have costumes that I'm excited yeah. about then I like it if I don't then I'm really not I don't think it. I know your other costumes do you not I can't say are they all couples costumes no just one last year oh. Ryan and I did costumes the whole time but just one couple's costume yeah. Which is very pop culture related. It's not Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Oh yeah, um, that's such a good one though. I it mean, is such a good one. I can't wait to see them. I just if my hair was similar to hers, I might have done it just for the vibes. Mm-hmm. But nah. And then uh, another one's just me, and then the other one's just me. Uh, you know them. Great. I just forgot. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I'm excited to see. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get into our favorite of the week. Yeah. Shall we? We shall. Um, my favorite. I'll start. Is this perfume? And it's from the brand Lake and Sky. And it the scent is called Saffron Dusk. How mm. unique. Saffron. I'm obsessed. I've been into the Byredo store before, which is a different brand. Mm-hmm. And they have the scent that's similar. It's called like Saffron something. When I think of Saffron, I think of like yellow rice or something. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, what does this mean? But this scent is amazing. And I pulled the description because it's very mm-hmm. hard. Dark florals mingle with spicy woods and a musky coolness, creating an essence of subtle luxury with a familiar touch. Wow. I mean, doesn't that just make you want to jump yeah. into it? Yeah. They sell it at Nordstrom and different stores. We I, we will have both of our favorites linked on LTK mm-hmm. and our LTK product sets, which are always in the description. We're going to start doing that from now on. If we don't remind you, just assume the product's there. Um, but I really like this perfume. That and Autumn Vibes from Replica are like my autumn scents i would say they're very yeah. like sexy but like daytime nice yeah what about you love a scent um i don't you might be able to hear it. my voice is a little hoarse this week um i feel like i don't know if it's allergies whatever it is i feel like i'm just like i keep having to go like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so i've been picking all the warm beverages um right now i'm drinking the medicine ball from starbucks which i love i get oh my god it's just it's the best so good i used to drink that all the time during theater yeah i will now and, and then my other recommendation is the throat coat brand oh that that was the og i have the cough they're like cough i'm not coughing it's not like they're lozenges yeah lozenges. but they help like you know get the mucus yeah uh, loosen saliva. things up mm-hmm. i guess and the throat coat tea I've been um, on those. And just like warm beverages in general, I feel like they're very like good right now. But not coffee necessarily, just like I guess some more like teas. and Yeah, like more of the herbal Warm water stuff. with honey, you know. Yeah. I mean, not honey, I'm lemon, yeah, whatever. Some you get like what I mean. And lemon. I, hot, tip, hot take, I don't like honey in my tea. Really? Yeah. Show me. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, I won't add it, but like if it's added. If it's in added, medicine, yeah. I'll have it. Yeah. So I think it's a nice way to sweeten. No, I know. I, I I just like the thought of putting honey in tea. It's like hot water and then you got this gel-like texture. It just doesn't... That's work. how I feel with the milk in tea. Oh. That like throws me off. I'm like, it's watery. Yeah. Hey, so like adding milk in the water. I'm like, huh. But I know in like England, that's like what they do, right? Like in yeah. Britain, like it's like, oh, I tea time. I do it sometimes. Like, yeah. If I need, if it's too hot. More so mm-hmm. if it's just too Cool hot. down. Yeah. Yeah. I love that for you. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. Hopefully I <clears throat> Ooh, new nails. don't have to go on vocal rest. A little French oh, moment. Yes, just basic. Very cute. We have so many things coming up. Like we have Halloween, we have the live shows. Like, you know, it's hard to pick one universe. Right, like, I was like, how? Show nails? Yeah. That's good. It's like, how am I going to choose something that's universal, Gosh, like across yeah. the board? Yeah, I got. I think I booked mine already, but. 
Yeah. That's, you have to think about when you get your nails done. Yeah. Because if you want to you go too crazy and then it's like, yeah, but you got like, red nails. So maybe you've had sex with the groom. <laughs> I know. I'm, oh my God. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh no. I'm like hiding No, my I'm nails. so kidding. It's not That's like that. So the funny. dress I think is the thing though. You guys will have to let us know. No, I don't think it's yeah. like actually like, I, that would be so obvious if someone did that and yeah, like actually like, okay. did. I get it though. It's a very sexy color. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. Look You're out me, there. Boys and girls. I feel like I brought like my red purse to my cousin's wedding though. Like I don't think that that yeah. necessarily matter. I wore black and wore go dogs. Go dogs. My red purse. Red and yeah. Black. Oh, yeah. Funny. Um, all right. Our wreck of the week. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. My wreck of the week is an app called Pickle. I love it. Oh I don't yeah. Think I've made it my wreck before. It's um, a clothing rental app, but it's not like a fashion pass or something like that where it's owned by the company. So basically. I'm doing it simply for people in New York City. Mm -hmm. I'm renting from people in New York City, but you can also set it up where you're shipping, you're picking it up, or you can do it via courier. I do the courier situation. So you can rent your own clothes on there for other people to rent from you. You set your own price. You can say if you want them to dry clean it or for you to dry clean it. I do where I dry clean it because I can kind of control the scheduling a little bit better. If someone wants to rent it, they pitch the dates that they would like it for let's say if they're going on vacation they can send a little message mm -hmm. like you know i'm going to you know thailand and i mm -hmm. want it for this book and i'm obsessed i started renting out a couple of my pieces that i bought for special occasions uh -huh. and i don't i'm not ready to give them away or sell them but i want them to have more lives yeah so it's been really fun to see you know i've had some people rent stuff like someone rented this dress i wore in greece because she's being um a mermaid for halloween oh, like, oh that's, cool. that's like cute this netted do they, dress. So they say what they're using it for she did yeah that's so cute i know yeah. it's cool and this uh i rented i was filming a video yesterday and i rented this top that i'm obsessed with that i've always wanted it's by the brand tay park and it's like this you can make it halter top or just whatever. It's a really nice designer top. They have great designers on there. I don't know if they really control it or if everyone on the app just is sharing these really sick, trendy mm -hmm. brands right now. You can, like, people have their, like, Prada bags on there. Like, oh, your purses, too? Yeah, not as many, but you, there's purses. There's Christopher Esber. There's um, oh. Danielle Gizio. Like, all those, like, mm -hmm. it girl, for lack of a better word, brands yes. are on there. And it's just, I'm obsessed. Like, it's just so Very great. cool. And... Does the price vary based on like how long they have it and stuff like, or it's kind of like, um, actually no, from what I can tell, it's more so based off of like the item that like, if it's, um, you know, a thousand dollar item, then I'm sure yeah. it's more, I mean, you set your own price. Um, so oh. I've tried to, I've like tried, it's hard to figure out like how much to, you make mm -hmm. it a little bit pricier if you know, you're going to be the one dry cleaning it, which totally makes sense. Um, but a lot of the items on there are so expensive. Like if you have a wedding and you want to wear a really cool cold guy dress, mm -hmm. like they have them on there. I just think it's so cool. And I've been renting from other people. I rented one of my Halloween costumes. I rented on there. Oh, so great. They have like a curated Halloween section. Wow. I'm just obsessed. It sounds like a great thing. I mm -hmm. feel like for my live show outfits, I wanted to give them a second life. Like a lot yeah, of those, exactly. like, cause Same. we have like nice dresses, especially yeah. like I have one that I was like, oh my God, this is like the, my life savings. The Literally. feather one. Yeah. Yeah. I just put my, the outfit I wore on our first night ever, the like retrofit pink blazer mm -hmm. set because that was a pretty penny. So I'm like, let me uh, put that on. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys need a pink set. Because it's like niche things like that that you might not want to buy. But yeah. yeah. I get it. But you need it. So, yeah, like, I mean, you run the risk. I guess someone could, you know, get a stain on it that can't be fixed and dry gotcha. cleaning. But yeah, so. It sounds like a great service. And you don't have to drop it off. Someone else drops it off for you? No, you like, can there's a courier. It. You okay. can do like drop off pickup, but I just have it as courier throughout. Cool. Through and through. So you don't have to put your address on there. <laughs> Precisely. That's great. Because I post on the public internet. Yeah, where, yes. You know, to borrow my clothes. So, yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah, I get that. do courier. Safe. What's your ride? Safety first. Um, I finished another book. I've just been on a reading kick because, mm. mm. well, That's I've been good. reading good books. Um, this one is called Bad Summer People by Emma Rosenblum. I loved it. They really, it's its a summary read. It, it takes place on Fire Island, but it's not so summary where it's like Ellen, where it's like the ice cream and the, right. the, 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 the licks and, the, you know, like it's more character based I would okay. say this not like and it's not long it's like 300 pages and they really are they're just bad summer people like all of them are like bad people like they do bad things and whatever and it's kind of like it's very it's like they re describe it as like a dark comedy it's very it's like sat satirical, satirical kind of like it's you know they write it as it is and you're like oh my god they're like they're all doing bad things and like to each other and it's <laughs> not but it's not in the way that you're like sad about it yeah. it's more so like you're like it's like snarky almost like, oh, whoa, yeah okay. but i feel like you would like it though because it is kind of like ritzy suburban energy love <laughs> which i know you like <laughs> um but it 
coupled with like the the couples. And I found it just like it was like a quick read because you're kind of like, all right, what happens next? Oh, so. is, what's it called? Bad Summer People. Like summer of the season? Yeah. Is it during summer? Yes. Yeah. Oh. It's summer on Fire Island, but it's like, I don't know how to describe it. Like it doesn't feel too summery of a book. Probably best to read it in the summer, but like I, yeah. But it's not like, oh, it's, I'm in the fall mood and this is ruining it. Yeah. No, you. it's fine. Yeah. And Fabulous. it's a quick read if you guys want to like, you know, read something quick. That. Thank you. Of course. Um, should we listen to some I'm of so these excited. audio messages? Yeah. Bill pulled these for us, so I can't wait I to did, guys. Um, listen to these cold turkey. Notice <sighs> my change of wording there. Instead, instead of, of raw dog. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> well, I, wait, don't they mean two different things? Cold turkey, yeah, it's a little <laughs> different, but I'm trying to like change my word usage because people... Cold turkey is like, like I quit. Cold something. turkey, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Um, this is like blind, like uh, you're, blind you're going listen. in blind. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. I say that when I like do an experience that I haven't done before. I'm like yeah. I, you know, if I don't research it, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do these all as anonymous too, because I feel like we didn't say, and I, I don't know. Yeah, unless they say they're. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, um, these range from everything, from friendship, relationships, really a little bit of everything. So uh, let's get into it. Starting off, here we go. Ooh. Hi, gals. Literally love you both. I've been watching you for years, listening to the pod for years. You guys are the best. Um, but I wanted to hear some friendship advice. I have recently just graduated from college this past May. And what kind of advice do you guys have to help maintain friendships that, you know, might not be, you might not be down the road from each other anymore? And just how to navigate that post-grad, you know, first couple of months and even first year of trying to stay close with your friends when it can be really tough, you know, just based on schedules, jobs, and location. Love you guys. Thanks. Ugh. I know. I feel like we talk about this all the time. And there's not... We actually talked about it on our episode with Anna. Yeah, I was um, thinking of that. Because she, yeah, because she talked... Uh, she has so many friends and she's so good at keeping up. But I feel like there's no specific formula with this. Like No. And I... I, you know, we've talked about it before on the podcast, how like, especially me, like I've just, I was struggling at first when I first moved mm -hmm. here because it was driving me nuts that I didn't have, you know, my five besties anymore to go do all these things. I have gotten lucky. I was going to say, I feel like you <laughs> now, <laughs> now I have no complaints. I mean, so many of my best friends live here now, um, which is so crazy, but I think the first thing is accepting, accepting the fact that your schedules, all of your schedules are going to be so different post-grad and to not take offense if, you know, mm -hmm. plans don't work out or you're not seeing each other every week. But to reiterate Anna Hyde's tip, I really loved how she would just kind of text in their group chats like, hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I need one life update. Just mm -hmm. popping in. And if it's not a group text, if it's individual friendships, totally. I think like just doing the same, but also just being understanding. I know it goes both ways. A lot of my friendships, like I'll text friends and like, I don't hear back for a day. And I'm like literally so offended. I'm like, yeah. how are they not? Like, yeah. What the heck? But then they'll wait and be like, Hey, sorry. Like just getting around to answering this. Like, you know, and that's life. There's plenty of people that I don't answer on the, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like it takes a second. So I think also that being understanding that everyone's schedule is so different. You're going through a new life phase. They're probably trying to make friends of their own too in whatever city or place or situation yeah. they're in. So it's definitely um, a balance. And I will say, I think like you also see how things like shake out in the way, not that I want to be negative in the way of like that you lose friends or whatever, yeah. but just, you know, the time and like the years and stuff moving forward will tell, I guess, how your friendships time like kind of shape them, you know, like no, it, it's, it's so true. Friendships change and like that's life, you know, no, you might know. lose touch for a little bit, but then get close again. Like it's it, relationships ebb and flow. Yeah. And I think something that I've learned as well, I thought, you know, maybe this is good advice to you post-grad, the friends that I do have here in the city, I'm like, okay, well, I need to make sure I see all of them once a week. That is not possible. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, every two weeks. Some of my best friends, some of my closest people, at least I would consider my life, I see them once a month, if that. You know, because now we all have different travel schedules. It's not like, oh, we all have this weekend off from school or like, mm -hmm. you know, this Monday and Friday off. It's so different. And everyone has weddings now or they're sisters are having kids you know their work are, obligations yeah, like, like yeah family obligations mm -hmm. and it's so crazy and I think something that I was doing I was like okay well let me just plan a dinner because I feel like that'll have been enough time that I need to see them again mm -hmm. and then no offense to that person but maybe that week I'm like I don't really want to go to dinner and catch up with someone I'm not yeah. in the mood so being more just going with the flow and only making those plans if you really want to see them there's a difference between maintaining but then also or like working too hard to make a friendship work and you're, yeah. you're exhausted yourself. Yeah. 
No, I agree. That's a good tip. So I think it's, time will tell, like, not to be like that, but I, no, you, you know, when you told me that, cause when you true. first graduate, you're like, oh wow, like this is such a change. And I rem- I feel like there were some people that like, I literally didn't hear from at all. And then there were some people that, you know, we kept talking every day, Yeah. but like, I wouldn't consider myself that I like lost, you know, it's just different communication styles that Definitely. people have. Yeah. Yeah. So just do what's best for you. Enjoy your new life post-grad. Yes. And reach out to them when you feel like it. Yeah. And focus on like being present in your current situation Definitely. and making friends and stuff moving forward mm-hmm. while still maintaining those, of course. But you of know, course. that's a priority too. You do you. Okay. I think this was. Thanks for submitting. Hey, Brooke and Danielle. My name is Melissa. I've been an added viewer of the podcast and your YouTube channels for a long time. So I thought I would jump on and ask my question. Basically, I'm getting married in November next year. And my fiance has a couple more groomsmen than I have bridesmaids because we both have brothers. And he also has a pretty big friend group. So he has eight guys. I have six girls. And I was initially fine with this because I thought it was going to be one off, but now it's actually two girl, like two more guys. So I'm just wondering if I should add somebody else. I've been thinking about it for a while. And my fiance's best man has a girlfriend who I really like, been getting along with. She's really nice. And I've been thinking about adding her in. But the problem is, is because he's the best man, he's going to walk with the maid of honor. So I mm. wanted to get your opinion on, is it weird to ask her when she's not going to walk with her boyfriend? Or is it not weird because she'd be walking as my friend? And then also, is it weird to ask her even if though she's not necessarily my friend by choice but because our best our boyfriends are best friends let me know your opinion thanks for listening oh my gosh great i know i love this one it's Uh, it's layered and i feel like as we go into this season of life like you know with friends getting married and stuff the rules yeah i mean my first impression is i just wouldn't have her as a bridesmaid oh my god that's so funny because mine was like i would like who cares you know if you really like her but i think that then you run into the issue of which my mom always warns me of this like not warns me but like and it's life happens like you know yeah. having people in your wedding like that's i guess you always run the risk of like if they're not family and you have them in your wedding they potentially could not be in your life as you get older like that's the I, photos i'm thinking about that's what photos. i'm saying i don't want to be dark and like yeah. think that way that but could be any of your friends not just her exactly so these two break up, you know, so you don't want to have her just because they're dating. But yeah. she said she's friends with her separately. If if you truly sit down and have a heart to heart moment with yourself and you're like, I just love this girl as a friend and I want her standing next uh-huh. to me, do it. But I think mixed, you know, the fact that she wouldn't get to walk with her husband or boyfriend. But they, know, she wouldn't regardless, though. No, I know. Yeah. I know. That walk, I, I hate it. I think I'm going to have everybody walk individually because it feels like the <laughs> couples are so, it's not couples. Like they're no, I know, just the pairings like the are so it's random. Like, I'm like, these people have never met before. And like, they have to like, you know, link arms I and like know. be all touchy and stuff. Like, um, not, <laughs> not that I'm judging. It's just like, that's how, like, it's kind of funny when you think about it. You're like, oh my God, this is so weird. Ha ha. No, but, I know. I know. It is yeah. a little fun- funky town. Uh, but you think she should be in the wedding? I th- I think she needs to have a moment of reflection with herself and, okay. you know, be like, if she's okay with this, don't do it just for the sake of numbers. But if you're like, no. you know, I really do like this girl and like, I've been thinking about it. Like I probably should have asked her to begin with. Like maybe it's a sign you need one more. Like, you- yeah. I also feel like if it's only eight and six, it's fine. It's fine. Also, if you're worried about like, you know, certain things, mm-hmm. if people know you, they know about your brother and they know about his brother. So they'll know why true. there's two extra people. Right. So like, true. On the guy's yeah. side. Like it basically you guys do have the same amount of friends. Yeah. Two brothers. I don't think you need to have the equal amount. Yeah. No, I, know I don't think so. I think I just have a feeling whenever I get to that stage in my life, I think that's just going to be a hard thing to oh, yeah. do with your spouse. Like we have to have the same amount of people. That's tough. Yes. Yeah. So the I same, don't know. Yeah. So just do you what feels right if you love her and you're obsessed mm-hmm. with her and you want her getting ready with you that day. Like, she's going to be getting ready with you. True. This she's is She's probably going to be on your bachelorette. She's in all the photos, all you the know. All the photos. Walking down the aisle before you. I mean, everything. At your yeah. table, if you're doing it that way. Just if, is she going to be, like, actually helpful on your day? Like, yeah. Or is, she gonna, is it going to be more stressful because she doesn't fit in with everybody else? Like, you have yeah. to figure that out. Is she an upper? Is she a downer? <laughs> is she a negative Nelly? It's know? all good to think about. Things you have to keep yeah, us posted. I want I know. to know. Wow, that's so funny. I listened to it. I was like, oh, <laughs> she should totally have her, but you raise good points. You oh do. Gosh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. Um, next. Woo-hoo. This is so fun. It I'm is. Obsessed. 
Brooke and Danielle, I need so much help with Mm -hmm. one-sided friendships. I know you guys have definitely talked about this in several episodes, Mm -hmm. but I'm definitely at a crossroads now with this and feeling that I am the only one that's giving in a friendship and Mm -hmm. that I don't understand why I need to be the only one communicating or organizing when they clearly don't have trouble organizing things with other people and just feeling almost like a second or third thought when they verbally let you know that they care about you and they're there but then when it comes to putting words into actions it just feels completely like the opposite Mm -hmm. so if you have any recommendations on anything in that wheelhouse i would love to hear it thanks i know my blood's boiling i know pisses me off i'm so sorry i i completely agree i think this is another example of like you have to like read the room and like you know mm-hmm. like in that case like the pullback method the what the heat check the heat check i was just gonna say it works like a charm and it's so annoying you shouldn't have to do this but it's it's, it's unfair to you it's unfair to you and then i feel like you finally do hang out with this person because you made all these plans mm-hmm. and then you probably feel a little like shit on the inside just knowing that you had to like not beg them to get there but you had to do all the heavy yeah. lifting and i think it would be really telling mm-hmm. to see like once you are in that room with that person how they act if they're very like mm-hmm. oh my god i've missed you so much or if it's more like all right i'm just doing this mm-hmm. because you freaking planned it whatever and it's hard because you want to hang out with this person and you think you have a really good time together but it sucks when mm-hmm. they don't make a single effort oh yeah i mean it sucks so i've recently I, because we have talked about this on the podcast so she's a true listener i had this happen with a few friends and i really pulled back not like I mean, yeah, I was curious if they'd come forward a little uh-huh. bit, but also I was just like, I actually don't have any more energy for this, and I'm yeah. sad to kind of see this fade away. And these people, all of a sudden, I'm getting, I miss you. What's up? I'm like, this is, it's like dating. I swear <laughs> to God. Not that that always it's is going to happen. Yeah, but if it also, then if it fades away, like, I hate to say this, but like in hindsight, you'll look back again in a few years and be like, oh my God, like that's her, friendship didn't serve me, you know? Like I was no. always, you don't, like... You know, you deserve yeah. people in your life who are going to give you 50 50, you know, you allocate that time to make a new friends. A hundred percent. And, you mm-hmm. know, and I've tried verbalizing it, but to be honest, I haven't perfected it. Cause I feel like the few times I've verbalized it, it came off of, it came off kind of jealous or more uh-huh. of like this way. And I felt like it wasn't received well. Mm-hmm. So I think you just kind of do have to do your own thing and show like you're living your best life. Yeah, I, I see what you mean, like, saying something. There's only been a few times in my life when I've really, like, said something to a friend where I'm like, you know, I that hurt me that you did this or that I wasn't invited or whatever, and I yeah. really try to, like, be strategic with that because I feel like it means a lot more, like, being like, wow, Brooke never does this. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. It has to be very <clears throat> significant, very thought out. You have yeah. to think before you speak. Like, if you're about to text, like, a super <sighs> long paragraph, maybe – take it back yeah i mean or you can try and make those little comments but i feel like even like when i've had people say to me oh i never see you anymore it's immediately kind of unattractive to me <laughs> like not unattractive. you got the ick you're like I get yeah the ick. Like, i, I don't want to see it she's like we never hang out anymore i was like oh maybe there's no reason like i don't know it's just like you know like it's you desperate see energy stories, you know I'm busy. It's, de- it's, it's desperate i'm sorry it's, that's so mean no but no like, i'm not saying that she's being desperate i'm saying it gives off the energy that like yes. you are desperate for this friendship when we all know that this you are an awesome person and you deserve 10 out of 10 friends you know exactly like, so like, why don't give off you don't need to do that yeah it's like in dating when you're like you know i mean i used to be that person i would accept literal shit like i would just take like the garbage <laughs> the treatment minimum. and that's why i got it because i would accept it yeah. you know you're like okay this this will roll exactly and if i just like put my foot down and was like no this isn't like me i don't know not that i would have like met my boyfriend sooner or anything but like yeah. you know i would have maybe been in better situations yeah and with him you've been very like this is what i want a relationship mm-hmm. you're very vocal with him and that's how it yeah. needs to be yeah i love Period. it okay let's These do a few more great. yeah they're yeah. great um do, do, okay do, we do, have do. this one for you hey guys um i just want to say i love your podcast i listen all the time every week thank you um, love you guys i'm actually coming to see you guys in austin i'm so excited Yay! um but my question is I just got out of a breakup a couple months ago, and I know I want to get back in the dating world, but I'm just kind of nervous, and every time in person when I have the opportunity to, like, maybe start talking to someone or, like, I notice things are going well, I just, like, clamp up and get nervous. So do you have any tips for, like, in the moment when you know that you want to get back out there, but you just get nervous? So, yeah. (laughs) Thank you, guys. Bye. This is so fitting because I know we both have friends that are, like, entering the dating world maybe like recent breakups or they're like you know so i feel like this is 
Yeah. That's why it's hitting. That is so yeah. crazy. You have more experience <clears throat> in dating than I do. Oh, General. yeah. Well, I guess it's like getting back out there type. Like, it sounds like she is ready. Like, it sounds yeah, like it sounds she... sounds like you want to. Like, an, <clears throat> sorry, my, my little uh, rumbly. She's getting choked up. <laughs> yeah. And you should. No, you should. <laughs> it's it sounds... I think the first step of that is like being like, are, like really have like look in the mirror and be like, I'm ready for this. You know what I mean? Because I think a lot of people do date I, I do dating like right after they have this breakup or whatever is like a means of like distraction mm-hmm. and I don't think that's healthy I don't think like no. you're gonna find another like quality relationship out of that if you need to like distract yourself I think that's fine but you need to you know be real with yourself and be like yeah okay, like I'm ready okay, I'm ready to is, find someone mm-hmm. good so what is she she's saying that she's like holding herself back and like getting nervous basically yeah I had a friend or we have a friend that is about to go on her first date like basically ever since postgrad a dating app date dating app date yeah and it was hard for me like as a friend because I saw her like really wanting to, but also really not wanting to. And, you know, we can only say so much as friends, Mm -hmm. like do it, do it. But I think what kind of finally convinced her was like, I have nothing to lose. It's a night out with a person who hopefully probably will be paying for your Mm -hmm. drink, your meal, whatever it may be. You can plan an out with a friend like, okay, call me in an hour. Or you can say, you know, I I have have an out. I have a hard stop at X time. Yeah. I love that phrase so much. You sound like a boss. Yeah. You're like... (laughs) I have like, a hard I, that's so fine. I have a hard stop at like 11 o'clock because I have to wake up early and like I have a workout class in the morning. Like make it up. Like, yes. yeah. Oh my God. I did that all the time with Ryan. It wasn't a lie. I was obsessed with Orange Theory at the time mm-hmm. when we were doing it. And I would be like, oh, I have Orange Theory in the morning. And I feel like he never said anything, but I feel like that made me sound pretty cool too. It's yeah. Like, you sound I, like you I should take care of myself. Yeah. Also, if you're like a person that has like other obligations and stuff, it just makes you more attractive in dating and totally. in friendships and everything. I mean, yeah. Literally, it goes no back to what desperate we're energy. No desperado <laughs> here. No. Yeah. We're, um, we're all full people. And it's such a fun excuse to get dressed up for a night be treated hopefully like a princess Mm -hmm. and if not i mean i know you probably don't have a podcast but it's a funny story to amazing stories later on voice memos like tell them at the brunch table or to commemorate you know it's all adding to like the story of your life which is what i think my friend that's going on the date she was like i'm not gonna tell our friends and i'm gonna tell when we see them next and it'll be a funny story i'm like t that's so iconic i know no i love it so you can make it kind of exciting think of it as you know doing it for the plot really like exactly and you know it could like you have to go into with the chance of like it could go great right yeah and i really could yeah and i like the it, you have nothing to lose like what's the it's awkward so you've gone through i'm sure you've gone through more awkward things in your life than that you yeah. know i, I mean, know i have oh my god way more awkward stuff than going on a first date yeah I'm, you know it's so crazy i've never been on like a first date uh yeah i have once in high school but like yeah i know what I you mean know, though so like I... true meeting like wow we like met online like yeah. whatever it's it i'm not gonna i know i know what she's talking about it's the anxiety of the like leading up to it oh, i could picture <clears throat> it the walk up etc but then 30 seconds and a minute even later when you like sit down or like you have your bearing straight or you're like whatever you're good i remember actually like when I met Ben the first, I would, I had all these like things. I would be like, I'm going to arrive after they do so that they're there the first. But I happened to be running early that day because oh it was gosh. in the Lower East Side where we yeah. had our date. And I walked in first and I like knew I was there early. Like I was there like, you know, two minutes before. You were there before him? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know this origin story. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it was a place that was like a bar in the back, but there it's double chicken please in New York. So there's like a rush on the front and like a bar and rush on the back. And I was like so awkward because I like checked in. I was like, oh, for blah, blah. They were like, we need both of you here to seat or something. Oh my so gosh. Like, like, oh, so now I have to like go wait. And like, but there's not really a waiting area because it's kind of like already a restaurant. And then I like ran it. He was like opening the door as I was like going to wait outside. And I was like, oh, uh, uh, like, and we just had such an uncomfortable, like, and I remember oh. thinking like, oh my God, this just started so awkward. Oh, I didn't you know, know and like overthinking it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that was so like cringe, whatever. But then she took us back. Like we sat down. And then I was fine. I just like, but my heart was definitely racing like oh, until yeah. we were sitting down, whatever. Cause I fe- then I felt comfortable and I was like, yeah, I have my, my spot, yeah. got my water, like take a second. Yeah, yeah. So that's a good thing. You know, maybe make a plan and be like, okay, this is when <laughs> I want to arrive. This is how I want to do it. So when you get, it, I mean, not that everything's going to go exactly as planned. It doesn't. Yeah. But you can just have some things in mind. So you, you don't walk in and you're like, ah. Yeah. And I guess it is kind of awkward. Cause like, I mean, you both, you know what the person looks like, but you're kind of like, hey, are you John? Like, and it's, <laughs> there are definitely moments of awkwardness about it, but like, you just have to be like, it's, he feels awkward too, or they feel awkward too, like whatever. Like, you know, we're all feeling yeah. a little awkward. Did I ever tell you one time I was doing a table for one club moment where I used to, where I used to do that, I was sitting at Sarah Beth's and and by Central Park. Someone came up to me and they go, Chelsea, Chelsea, is that you? I was like, 
oh no he's like oh i'm sorry i'm like meeting like a girl here i was like oh, oh my god. god but also i never ended up seeing her so i was like i want to know what she looked like how could you really mess or that maybe up? he was just hit, like hitting on you maybe <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that always happens to me. He's like, Chelsea, <laughs> I knew you from him. Yeah. Chelsea, yeah, you look like a Chelsea. Yeah. So that was a funny anecdote. Um, I could see how that could happen, though. I've definitely been, like, walked into a bar before, and there's, like, two guys waiting or something, yeah. and you're like, oof. It was from, like, a movie, too. I was sitting outside, and I had, like, the menu kind of in front of me. So, I mean, maybe he was just seeing. That's really funny. Checking the pulse there. It's like, hey. Yeah, it's like a year ago. <laughs> Should we do one more and then close out? One more, okay. then one more. cherry on top. What do you do when you just feel like after you've been together for a few years and they just don't really care to put in effort anymore or they just stop simply dating you? What do you do? Well, you tell them to buy your flowers. <laughs> <laughs> you have to vocalize it. Like you have to be like, I, th- I think especially if you've been dating for a few years, you kind of have to be like, all right, here we are. Mm-hmm. We've been dating for a while. I assume we both want to date each other for another while. And personally, I want to be dated. I don't want to just exist. I don't want to be just best friends. I want to have this romantic spark still. And you can come up with your non-negotiables. For me, I really wanted to start getting flowers. And maybe for you, it's like, I want you to maybe plan something every two weeks where we go to something or a picnic, mm-hmm. something free. It doesn't have to be this materialistic thing. Mm-hmm. But I think especially a few years in, you got to be vocal, right? Yeah, like a re-reminder. I, th- I guess some people like, yeah, need the, the reminder of being like, hey, this is, you know, yeah. we're still dating. Um, and I think, oh, I mean, I don't want to be like, or oh, that's not your person. But like, you know, <laughs> you want to make sure that you're still like attracted. Like sometimes relationships, not I don't want to be like negative or whatever, yeah. but sometimes relationships like do run their course. Like, you, you know, and it's like, and oh check. my God, maybe this isn't serving us anymore. You know? Also that you have to make sure. And I think you also have to take a deep dive into yourself and be like, you know, maybe he's about to come over. Are you excited that he's coming over? Like you don't yeah. have to have those same jitters. Like I know maybe those don't always stay, but I definitely like when Ryan's about to knock on the door, I'm like getting excited. You know, you kind of mm-hmm. have to take a check and be like, yeah. And you, and it's not, it's a two way street, you know, totally. Maybe you're starting to be a little bit lazier, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to say that, but like not maybe, lazier, but like, you're not, maybe are you, what romantic people always pose that question to us? Like, well, what romantic gestures are you exactly. doing? Exactly. And it, I, I do agree. Like it should go both ways. Like yeah. it shouldn't just be like princess treatment only. No. Like, I definitely think that it, it could go both ways. Definitely. Like I think, uh-huh. You know, if it's sending them a text in the morning before work, like I don't always text Ryan, like have the best day, go crush it. But I think it means a lot Mm -hmm. if you do certain things like that, or maybe you're by their apartment Mm -hmm. and they work from home, you can bring them lunch. Like just little things that. That's a good, that's a good little suggestion. Yeah. yeah. Cause I guess it's different than some guys, maybe they do like flowers or they like like little gifts or something. Apparently in our (laughs) comments, all guys want flowers. Yeah. (laughs) No. I okay. like the idea of like bringing him lunch, bring him a coffee or yeah. do it or even like a handwritten note. I honestly, I'm so cheesy. I like, I leave but when I leave Ben's, but like he leaves before me, I like leave a written note. I'm like, you know, like I think it's oh, sweet. Like, so you know, cute. yeah. Nothing crazy. It's not like a love letter, but it's like, yeah. Oh, like when he comes back like hours from now, like I'll see it, you know? I love that. Yeah. I love yeah, that it's so sweet. much. He probably like yeah. comes home and smiles. Yeah. That's and it's really like, oh, yeah, she left me this post it. Like, you know, something yeah. small. Or even just remembering stuff that they've mentioned like oh hey i know you love pulp fiction like do you want to watch that tonight uh, like stuff like that yeah. like maybe it's not your favorite movie offering something that they like you yeah, want to watch football <laughs> you want to watch football like sometimes like every now and then if i know ryan's coming over i like to watch football but not always if i don't know the team so but i knew like monday night football was on so i just like had it on the background it wasn't the main focus but i had it on he was like Oh my gosh thank you like that's really sweet <laughs> it's like stupid but you know i think it's just little thoughtful no things. no it goes a long way though yeah like last night i <laughs> slept over at ryan's for literally the fourth time ever like ever <laughs> um and he had a candle lit when i walked in and that's i don't sweet. think they normally do that so it was cute he's making the place charming yeah he's yeah, exactly. really he's sprucing like, love it what up. you've done with the place <laughs> and he had changed his sheets like it was a whole cute oh that's sweet because i was like are you ready for a girl like because i don't go to his apartment yeah a lot because he has a I mean, I don't. It's just like if he lived alone, I'd probably go there more. I don't yeah. need to defend myself. No, you don't have to. Every relationship's different too. Yeah, yeah. totally. But I, I agree. Sometimes they need the little, the little 
push a reminder or, or maybe sometimes lead by example. Like you do something and then maybe they're inspired. Love that. Mm-hmm. Lead by example. Yeah. Be a leader. <laughs> Be a leader. Hopefully you got some sort of tidbit of information from mm-hmm. us. Um, we love chatting with you guys. I wish we could do a thousand more. Um, that just means you need to come to the live show and we can chat. Oh yeah. We have, oh, we have some segments where you guys like sent us some uh, personal anecdotes and wow, we are going in. You oh guys, my Oh my God. gosh. We're going to chat. We're going to chat. So love you guys so much. Thanks so much for listening. Yeah, thank you. See you guys next week? Yeah, see you then. Bye. Bye.